Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you another idea for Christmas that I think is perfect to involve your kids and make them create presents for friends and family members. So we are going to do this one and with the 3D pen you could even personalize it more but the 3D pen is not necessary so even if you don't have the 3D pen just stick with this video and if you like it please remember to subscribe and uh, like the video. This will help me a lot to continue this journey. So what it is, is a small booklet that the kids can prepare and personalize and give it as a present for this Christmas to people they, they love. Of course, this one is something that you could totally change in the aspect. You can use different media, you can use just pencil, colors, something like this. The idea came out because I wanted to show you that with a 3D pen, you can also personalize the cover of things. In particular, this one is an agenda. I have many black agenda. And uh, and so to remember at what time I finish it, I decide to use the 3D pen and put uh, May 21. I finish in May 21. As you can see then, some time pass and it's still there, despite the fact that I've been using it so much. And uh, But anyway, the point is that you can even then fill these four pages inside uh, with wishes and drawings from for, from your kids to the person that is going to receive it. So I think it's really a cool idea. And uh, what we're going to do is use simply two pieces of paper. Uh, one should be like a, a white paper, a normal white paper, preferably, I guess, recycled. I like it more. And then an old uh, colored paper that, as you can see, or even a new one, of course, but I, I really like the idea of recycling things that are staying there from a long time. And uh, with the 3D pen, of course, we can have this addition that I think are super cool to make it even more precious. So let's start immediately and uh, we start with the folding. Are you ready? If it's the first time that you are folding this kind of project, I suggest you to use a page that has already been used for something else. For example, when I was doing the first trial, I used like a print quality diagnostic page. The use is important, remember it. So now that you have it, let's start with the folding. You are going to, okay, I will move, sorry, a little bit forward this one to let you see better. Uh, you will use the long side of the paper. Doesn't matter if it's an A4 or a letter, any size is working because we will just work with the half of the side. So. You will go here and you will try to be precise even though it's working even if you're not so precise. And you can make it even stronger the folding by using the scissors. So you did the first folding, then we do again in the long side in a half. You mark it, you make it stronger and then we do the third one. You mark it. You make it stronger, done. Now you will open it in a half. Once it's open in a half, this one is the opening side. You keep the closed part and you're going to cut it in this line here with your scissor like this. Once you're done, you will open it this way, so let's say you have two mountain separated, and you open it like this, see, and then you make this one stronger, this one too, then you just fold it like this, it's for magic, and like this, and it is already done, you already have a booklet with eight pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But in our case, I suggest you to do a cover to make it even more special because it's supposed to be used for all 2023, right? So while this one could be useful for list, to-do list, something like this, for the one that is spe a special one, I would do this cover with the author page. I will take the coloring pages like this and what I'm going to do is to do to, to position this one like in the middle and 
try to fold this one in a way that will leave a little bit of space it's not too tight so like this should work you see there is a little bit of space in the two part i will just mark it a little bit like this and then when i see the two mark the important is that i just try to fold it align with this side oh gosh i should not use <laughs> this color that is too difficult to distinguish from my background but okay apologies maybe i will try also with another color later so i just do this one and again with my scissor i can make it stronger i do the same here just try to align this part Ooh, i can show you here like let's try to align this part the best way you can same here make it stronger done now you will fold it in a half we are and once it's done you can just check it but it is working so you could fold it again like this maybe leave one or two millimeter but it's not necessary so almost folding the important is just try to be aligned on the side and then on this one Yes, done. We are done. We are already done. Basically, the basic of our booklet is already done. So now you just have to insert the first page here. And you have to insert the second page, the last page in this part. And it is there. Can you see? I already like it so much. So, according to how much margin you left, you will have this upper part. It's not necessary to leave it so, so big. For example, here is a little bit tighter, but it depends on you. Maybe at the beginning, I will keep a little bit more margin because uh, maybe you want to, to fold it easily, but it is done. So you can even just personalize it with pen and paper and uh, it will be done. So, and you can use a simple clip just to close it. And inside your kid could put, for example, for drawing here, one, two, three, four. But now let's see how we can make it even more special with the 3D pen. So what you need right now is a, a template of a star. I'm going to use the star for this project, but of course you can use a different one. For example, we can use also the snowflakes. The only suggestion I give you is try to use a clip that is like of this size. Because it will be easier to apply to our project. And uh, okay, well, let's go back to the 3D pen. So what I'm asking you to find is uh, either to draw a model for a star or you can get this one from my Skillshare class. I'm going to put the link down below. And it's a freebie of the Skillshare class. And the link should also provide you like one month for free for the whole platform. So you might want to check it. Anyway, so let's prepare the 3D pen now. And we will start to work on this project. In the meanwhile that the 3D pen gets ready, let's try to prepare also a version with the pen and paper. Again, use all the material that you like. Uh, I will just try to do the same with this uh, Micron pen. What I like of the Micron is that in this case, even if you will use some watercolor, the black will stay. So I will put that again. You can write whatever you like for your wishes. I will put this one again, best for 2023. And I'm going to provide you also some idea of what to write inside. For example, here, I suggest you to find a quote that you like or ask your kids to draw something. Maybe since this one is a color paper, it will be great if you will use a, a crayon uh, or uh, yeah, a supply that uh, 
will uh, okay let me see what i have here here i'm using this oil pasta it should work well so let's say that i want to add uh, like a flower simple flower or maybe a star let's try a star again because there was a star outside Of course, then it depends on the quality of the material that you are using, the color of your pages or something like this. But I think it's a nice idea to experiment. Yeah. In the meanwhile, I think our 3D pen is ready. Yes, so I will just move aside this one and let's uh, proceed with the 3D pen to do the star. You can use different speed. I suggest the first time you use uh, the model to go ahead with a uh, um, lower speed because this one will allow you to get confident with the model and then you can increase. This template has uh, two star and uh, I like it a lot, So, but it's totally optional. So you can decide to do not do it if you don't like then uh, you should change uh, the color. I'm not because I already have uh, the color that I need in this other pen, but obviously you don't need two pen. You need just one and change the color. If you need to know more about the basic of the 3D pen, I just wanted to remind you that I have a skills class about it. That also by creating uh, uh, some Christmas ornament will let you go through the basic of the technique to be sure that you will uh, really not having problem and you will have the basic technique to go ahead with uh, many different projects. I will put the link below, but again, you just need one pen, not two, two <laughs> in my case. And then uh, I suggest you to fill. The star. What is super cool of a 3D pen project is that uh, every project, even if you're starting from the same template, the same design, the same doodle, everything, each time, each one is uh, a unique piece because uh, according to your mood, according to how you use the pen, it will be a design. I like this template because I think the star is something that you can use for Christmas, but in general for <laughs> many occasions. And also, what I like is that, for example, if you use uh, this template and you leave uh, the inside part empty, basically you are having an ornament that is cool, but it will also allow you to save a lot on the filaments uh, if you don't have so many. So technically you can do so many booklets for this Christmas if you wanted to use uh, this, uh, this idea. And uh, it works well. For example, this one I did it before. I can just show you. I really like the fact that actually you see through the color of the paper that you decide. So we're done. We did our um, star. In the meanwhile, that this one will cool off and you just need a few seconds or maybe one minute. Let's continue on uh, preparing the inside part. So as I told you here, you can write uh, a quote uh, or you can uh, do a drawing. You can personalize the drawing. Okay. The... Micron will not work so well on the oil pastel, but it works around. So maybe you can do something like this. I might provide you in the link other idea to decorate if it might be useful. And then, uh, for example, um, I think that in the case of our family, we want really to give us a present and I already talk about this idea with my son so we agree on what we're going to put it's like uh, we will try to give uh, a reflection in positive aspect of the year that is finishing and also a positive prospect for the new year's coming so we will start from I will move the pen to do not burn myself like uh, with um this sentence like I'm happy when and add five prompt, I mean five lines to write what people are happy for. And again, here put a flower. You can do a drawing with this pen, with the other pen as you like. You can decorate with stars, shape, everything you like. 
is your personalization and uh, yes it could be like uh, remembering something related to home love uh, passion uh, success uh, uh, anything anything could be written here it's up to you i'm just giving you some idea in the meanwhile oh this one is cooled down so sorry again let's go back to the process so it's totally ready when it's ready it will be super easy also to take out as usual i just wanted to remind you that there will be two sides one has the texture and one is more flat because I was using this transparent foil. And then uh, you can just get your clip. And uh, in this side of the clip, uh, so the part that is opening, the last part, uh, we are going to connect it. Oh no, I went again in standby. Really? Are you joking? This 3D pen is really old. I think it's like four years or something like that. I might do a sooner a video about the different type of 3D pen where I'm simply telling you my honest review on the pen that I collected in these years. And uh, what is, I think is, will be interesting in this video is that some of these pen are really old and uh, in the last year I didn't use it so much, many of them. So it will be very nice to see also how they work after so much time to see how much uh, durable they are. I know that uh, many 3D pen users might have been discouraged by some initial problems and so they stopped to use it, but you are still on time to, to go back to the 3D pen and work on it. Okay, my 3D pen is ready. So to connect it, as uh, I explain you more in detail in the video about doing the bookmark, I will put the link again. It's very easy, you just do this one. When you're done, I suggest you to turn it and press it a little bit when it's still warm. And now we will wait and this one is done. The 3D pen part is done of this project. So let's go back here, second page. In the second page, I want to give the person that is receiving this one an occasion to think about what she is thankful for in 2022. And again, I will give like the idea to come out with five things that she is thankful for. And then I will go with the wishes that most probably are for the next year. And so in this case, I'm going to like put in a line because maybe these wishes are connected to things that I'm thankful for or not. This one is up to the person that is going to receive this gift. Again, you can personalize it in different ways, putting color, adding again stars. One thing to remember is that if you use an oil um, pastel, could be difficult for the person to write on the lines. So maybe use another medium. You can use a normal color. But yes, maybe don't use oils in, in, inside these pages because it will be difficult for the person to write on it. I will show you why. For example, let's say this one is a normal pen. And while outside is easy to write, when I go on the oil, it's more difficult. So it's possible, but not all the pen are going to write well on this. So again, personalize it, ask your kids to do it. In the last pages, after the wishes, I decided to put the goal. I want uh, like to give a clear vision, more defined, and I'm putting like another quote. Still, I will go for five entries. Here you can put uh, the quote uh, or another drawing with any medium you like. You can even like uh, <laughs> give additional prompt like uh, put your picture here, something like this. There are many ideas. And then at the end the same. Here you want to decorate with something. And then you will have just to 
do this one and it's ready again maybe this clip is a little bit too big so my suggestion is like don't go too small but don't go even too big i might search what is the size of this one but again ju just check that the clip is not really coming outside or if it is too long you can just put it in this way and i think it will still work well but yes i, I might prefer something smaller and after you do this one you could decide if uh, you want to leave it like this and it's absolutely fine or if you want to add an additional decoration with the 3d pen and so in this case you will use the outline of the pen Okay, when the pen is a little bit jammed, you can push it a little bit down and maybe increase the speed. You can use this experiment on the, on the transparent file. Then when it's working again, go back to the slow speed because you're writing down. doesn't have to be perfect i think it will be very appreciated by the person receiving this one to see that it's very personal <laughs> and here it is what do you think? Oops, I just, okay, move the 3D pen. <laughs> and uh, here we are. Ah, yes, I wanted to show you also this star. So I use the same model, but I use just one color. If you don't want to change the color, it will work too. I think it's absolutely fine. You might want to decide what is uh, the solution that is best for you. You can try with different color. You can try with different shape. And uh, remember, if uh, you using my free template, you can use also the snowflakes as a way to change color. For example, this one I was changing between red and white, and they are still very useful to, to be used in other projects like this one. I hope you like the project. Check the links for what I mentioned during this one. If you like it, I really appreciate it. If you could subscribe to my channel and uh, put a like, because this one will make my journey through this production of a video easier. My, uh, what I'm hoping for is to be able soon to do live session with my GoPro while I'm doing 3D projects so I can get also your real-time feedback. And to do so, I need more subscribers. So if you like it and you want to support me, just remember to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. I hope it was useful and... Uh, this idea will uh, be useful for you, your kids and your family also to, to, to keep a special memory. Oh yeah, because I forgot. Remember that with this folder, you can even put like a small surprise. So let's say that you want to give an additional bookmark to people. You can also fold it like this and it will be here. Isn't it cool? And that's all. I wish you the best also for the coming here and be tuned for next videos. Bye.